So I'm going to go over three things. I've actually went over them in the past, but I'm going to show um, how to uh, quickly fix things in Dragon OS Focal X uh, for the Osmocom BB, uh, the Calypso BTS, <clears throat> and then a uh, Auto Calypso BTS, which is a graphical, uh, yeah, basically a graphical user interface for Calypso BTS. And um, there's also going to be an Osmocom BB. Uh, command line interface that someone had created. I've just uh, applied a little um, fixes to them so that it works on Dragon OS Focal X. So uh, look up my other videos on this on this stuff and read the sites to learn more about Osmocom BB. You can see just real high high uh, overview here. Uh, free software, open source GSM baseband software implementation. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Uh, there's different branches, and uh, I'll, I'll show you how I have it working in Dragon OS uh, Focal X. Uh, Osmocom, uh, not just another Osmocom BB page, but to understand what the Calypso BTS is, uh, basically this Calypso-based phones, you're able to uh, do a lot of cool things with them. And um, so we'll take a look at that. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. And then this Auto Calypso BTS, uh, which someone had created specifically for Dragon OS. Uh, I've talked about it, shown it in the past. I just um, brought it a little more up to date for Dragon OS Focal X. It's going to be a uh, GUI that makes using um, Calypso uh, much easier. And uh, so to do all this, uh, I have a C118 uh, Motorola. And we'll just get started here. Everything you need, uh, I'll put the links uh, in the description for these three zip files that are sitting on the desktop here. So if I change to the desktop and I'll use sudo, I'll copy all of uh, all of these to the user source directory because that's where uh, I've got everything sitting that comes in Dragon OS by default. So if we unzip And we'll overwrite uh, what's already in Dragon OS. So just hit A for all. Sudo unzip osmocom bb.zip. Go ahead and hit all. And sudo unzip auto clips of BTS all. First, we'll take a look at osmocom bb. We're going to change into that directory. We can see, uh, and that may be a fault of mine. Just uh, I'll clean that up. Remove the incorrectly spelled uh, clips of BTS, and then take a look at the install.sh. You'll see all it does is install that term color and pi figlet, and then it copies the clips of BTS to user bin. So you could. Uh, just as easily, uh, you know, run it like like this. Uh, so we'll do sudo sh install, and uh, so we're good there. And the other thing is, we need to just because the way this thing is written, and I've not changed it, we'll just copy this entire directory to the uh, Etsy directory. Okay, so that takes care of that. And then the other thing, change into the Auto Calypso BTS directory. You can take a look at the install and see what happens there. It's going to copy some things over to Calypso BTS, uh, the SMS and the sub. And then it's going to make some things executable. So let's do sudo sh install. All right, now we should be set up. So let's go into Etsy Osmocom BB and we'll do sudo Calypso BTS. Okay, yep, we want to run Osmocom BB. Um, we, uh, so I have a C118. So, uh, and I'll probably click.
clean up the verbiage a little bit, but so C118, and I want to flash that with the layer one. The RSSI bin uh, would really just turn the phone into like a handheld. Um, basically, you could see the uh, different GSM cells and stuff um, with that handheld. I want to use the layer one so we can get into using the Osmocom BV. So let me pick one here. And so you're going to need a special cable. You're going to need to, need to build a cable or purchase a cable that's a USB from this computer to the C118 into the side of it. And I've got a battery and I've got a, uh, a plug to, to, to plug it in, uh, which I, I seem to need more so when we use the next program. So right now I'm just going to insert the battery. The USB cable is plugged in. In fact, if you went and looked in the dev directory, you should see TTY USB probably zero, and that's what this uh, software is set up, uh, kind of hard coded to look for. So, yep, phone is attached. So now it's going to load up these uh, uh, Osmocom loader and the cell log, and it's waiting for me to tell it uh, an Urson. So. Um, in my little lab environment, I am going to create my own with a uh, Blade RF uh, in Yate BTS, and I know that I've already set that up with the uh, Urson on uh, 800. So that uh, phone should be able to see that network after, of course, I load the firmware. So let's come back over here, and we'll hit um, the uh, red button on the phone. <clears throat> Maybe. There we go. Had to unplug it, plug it back in, hit the enter, it's loading the firmware now. So that's going to power up that phone. That phone does have a, a SIM card in it. And I'm just going to look closely because this isn't really automated right yet. But once it gets down to measuring from 955 to 1023, I can see a cell right there. So I come down here. I'm going to hit 800. That should start up the CCH scan, which it has, and uh, the mobile app. So all four are running. And I, uh, there's a video I put together where I showed how to do this and then run Wireshark. Uh, I, I've ran that, uh, basically that same video and confirmed this works. And now you've got your Osmocom BB uh, terminal here and you can read um, more about uh, what is all available there, all these commands. So I'm not going to really go into this. Uh, I've did a video and then some of the more sophisticated things uh, to get around to figuring out. Alright, so that's how to get that going and I'm going to just exit out of these windows or exit out of these programs. You're probably going to have to control C them and that should clean everything up uh, manually. Now let's go, we're going to take a look at the one other thing. We're going to go into the Auto Calypso BTS. This should get a little more interesting. We'll go into the um, lowercase Auto Calypso BTS directory, and we're going to run sudo dot slash. Uh, now I've cleaned these up, so you shouldn't have to put Python and so on and so forth. But you can if you want sudo Python three and start this up. But let's go ahead and start this. So now we're going to get a graphical interface here. And to really understand what's going on here, we're going to install sudo app, uh, app install scr cpy, and that'll install uh, quite a bit of stuff into Dragon OS. I've installed it before, and that is going to be used to interface with an Android phone, so you can kind of see what's going on here. So I have an older Android phone. I'm going to USB plug it in. and put this inside this environment here so that we can remotely get to it. Okay, and so we'll try this SCR CPY. Now you're probably going to have to accept something on the phone itself, which I've already done. 
and so now we can see we've got our phone here okay and I'm going to take the battery out of the C118 so get ready to set this up again you shouldn't have to change the BSC the BTS I mean you can if you want but I've already got it configured and then the TRX is set for the C118 if you're gonna flash a different phone you're gonna need uh, to use a uh, different uh, firmware and those firmwares are in this um, directory right here you can see it's changed into the clips of BTS and there's a firmwares folder in there so you might need to alter that especially if you're going to use two phones here which you need two phones in the case of wanting to have calls to have that extra time slot and stuff and then the clock you would also edit uh, it needs to be um, that's the thing for Calypso BTS to run there needs to be an existing GSM network and so you would have to know that um, that number to put there for this to actually work uh, to get the timing to make this work so let's hit TRX1 it's a prompt that's asking me to push the power button on the phone this time I'm gonna uh, plug the phone in too uh, power wise and so now it's loading the firmware Okay, the firmware is loaded. I'm going to go ahead and hit the clock so I get that sync. Now I'm going to hit uh, initiate a, a, a database, which there shouldn't be one. Let me let me try and remove just in case. Okay, so we're going to hit that database. We've created a database, and then we're going to start the uh, BTS. We got all these windows going. Okay, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn off airplane mode. Okay, I'll wait. What I'm looking for is a connection to the network. Okay, we've got a connection. So I should be able to go over here see subscribers uh, I'll blank out some information there but uh, yep so we've got one the subscriber the phone we can see the information and so now let's go ahead and send a test SMS okay it's gonna add a new user with well, it should say extension but uh, so you just saw that uh, it automated everything let's do it one more time there you go so that should fix everything and make it uh, fairly simple to use uh, they should be able to open the console too and then do things uh, command line there all right and hope that helps